Welcome back to Presentation Digital Scrapbook 123 Part 2 for PowerPoint. In this tutorial, you'll learn the following things. How to add transitions to your presentation. How to use the Save As command to create the image files, JPEGs, that you'll use for printing out your layouts. And how to print your slides from within your operating system. Now we're going to move on and do something really fun. As you can see, I've got the PowerPoint slide all set up here, the photos and the journaling, and I want to add some of the neat slide effects that make a presentation just so fun. So what I'm going to do is I'll come to Animations, and right here in the middle, we have all these neat animations. And as you hover over them, PowerPoint will show you what it looks like. And if I access the drop-down box, See, I just have all kinds to choose from. Look at that one. I have to warn you about this, though. They're kind of fun. It's like font use. Don't go crazy with them and use too many in one slideshow, or you'll make people kind of dizzy. All right, the next thing I'm going to teach you is how to save your PowerPoint presentation out as JPEGs. That is the file type that you can use to print them on your own computer or to send them off to a lab, maybe like Costco, to have them print them out for you. I'm going to go over to Save As, and you see I have all these different options down here. As you can see, I have all these options. So I'm going to Other Formats. I go to this drop down, and here it is the JPEG File Interchange Format. That is the file type that your cameras take the images of. I'll just choose Save and it's going to ask me if I want to export them all or every one. If you only want to print one, then just make sure you're on the page you want to print and select current slide only. But I want to do the whole thing. So I'm going to go every slide. All right, and it tells me where they put the images. See right here, here's the path. So, okay, now I'm going to go grab this and open it up so I can show you. Okay, here they are. They're all nicely in the same folder. Now, I'm going to print this, and I want to make sure that you know that I'm using a PC. But what for my Mac friends tell me, it works almost identically the same way. Very easy to do from within their operating system. So, let me demonstrate what I do. I right-click on the image. I choose Print. Then I get this little dialog up, lets me choose the printer, and see the paper size is 8.5 by 11. The quality is auto, you can choose whether what you want to have. My printer has that option. And then you choose the paper type. When I printed mine, I printed them on Kodak's Ultra Premium Photo Paper, and I used a semi-gloss. Even though I've been printing layouts for years, I was kind of surprised at how good they looked because they just came shooting out of the printer edge to edge. It was no trimming. It was just a wonderful print job. Of course, there are other great brands of paper. I'm just sharing with you what I used. Then I'll just choose print. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to actually print anything. But notice if I want additional copies, I'll just change it here. Now let me cancel. Now I'm going to show you an even easier thing to do if you want to print them all. I will just select them all, hold down my shift key, click on this one. Then I'm going to right click, again I'll get the print menu, and it will now print a copy of each one of those images. So really fast, right? And then if I want to, let's say I want to have a photo lab print these out, I would either go to their interface, let's say Costco, I'm just picking on Costco today, or you could put them on a DVD or take them to a local print lab. There are lots of places online that will print images for you, relatively inexpensively too. So don't worry about having to have a great printer, although I have to say I sure love my Canon. It doesn't use a lot of ink and the prints are outstanding. There's a free plug for Canon. I'm sure they'll never know. I just love my printer. Okay, I think that's it. Pretty easy stuff, huh? Have fun, and I'll see you again in the next video.